with us now is Elizabeth, and I have been married three times, uh, maybe going on my fourth, I don't know, <laughs> but I've been a bridesmaid several times, and with us now is the founder of a wonderful company called Here Comes the Bridesmaid. Elizabeth, welcome to the show. Thank How are you. you? Very well, thank you. So you've been in the bridal business for a long time. What yes. made you decide to start this company, Here Comes the Bridesmaid? Well, we started out in the city, in New York City, and um, I had been in the garment business working on 7th Avenue, and I had a friend approach me and say, would you like to open a store? And I said, yes, but not your typical sportswear, you know, average compete with big department stores. And so we decided to do bridesmaids. Okay. So it was a very niche business, and that's how it started. And bridesmaids traditionally have always had that, like, uh, you know, oh, you know, Especially always the bridesmaids, yeah. never a bride. Mm -hmm. Like the dresses yeah. were just like yes. really ugly, yes. right? But you have completely changed that now for a bridesmaid. Yes, yes, it's it's something now that you know they actually look forward to coming in and trying on. Um, we try to make it a fun process because it's supposed to be fun, um, and it's a little bit complicated because you have so many choices. But in the end, it's become something that it went from oh my gosh, I can't find anything. Uh, when my best friend got married, she had to have the dresses made. Okay. You know, that, that long ago. And, <laughs> and so, but now you have so many choices and it's so figure friendly, um, different colors, fabrics now. It's really changed a lot. Now your store is by appointment only or online? Right. Okay. Right. So when someone makes an appointment with you, what can they expect? They can expect to come in. We have we try to do a little beforehand, you know, exploratory. You know, when when is your wedding? How many bridesmaids do you have? Where is it? When they come in, we start, we try to focus on what colors are you thinking of? What fabrics do you like? Um, do you want to do one dress in one color, or do you want to do one color and offer your bridesmaids maybe a different choice in the style? And we start out that way. They generally come in and get their feet wet you know, the brides. And maybe they'll bring a maid of honor. Uh, maybe they'll bring two of their, you know, bridesmaids. And we select styles. And then we generally like them to go home and, and sort of sleep on it. Okay. Because it's got to be something that you visualize and really have um, your whole planning, um, you know, fit in. Okay. Now let's take a look at this stunning dress. So welcome. Yeah. How are you? Good. Great. Yeah. Well, this is Gianna. Gianna is wearing an Adriana Papel dress, known for their beautiful beading. Um, it's something that is, um, it's in bridal silver, the color. It's something that you can obviously wear again and again. It's a great formal dress. Uh, Adriana Papel is one of our top designers, um, something that even mothers of the bride wear. So as much as it nice. fits into the, yes, the bridal party. Yeah. Um, it's something that mothers of the bride wear, or we even get, you know, evening. And could you just turn for us? I wanted to see the back and all the detail. Oh, yes. that's so lovely. Yes. Very nice. Yes. Thank it's you really very much. Nice. Oh, I really like that dress. Really Beautiful. nice. Yeah. And in addition to bridesmaids dresses, mm -hmm. you do carry other dresses that the bride could wear for either their engagement party yes. or a shower or yes. something like that. Yes. Or on their honeymoon. Right. Again, whether it's mother of the bride or a destination wedding, um, a second wedding. You know, this is Long Island. We do a lot of beach weddings. And, you know, it's always, you know, great for that, you know, those kinds of dresses. What's the most interesting story you've ever heard oh, in gosh. your industry that gosh. just like still sticks so with you today? Many, so many. I've been in situations where, you know, one of the bridesmaids got caught on a business trip in Europe, had to come back and she got a limo for me to, you know, bring her the dress and she picked it up and like, you know, got on the plane and, you know, lots of um, different stories that, you know, people are, you know, living life and, you know, you have to just sort of roll with it. Um, I had one bride who picked out all her dresses, and then she had a very important part of her wedding as, you know, one of her pets, her dog was in it. Oh. So I have a friend who's a theatrical designer, and she made a little dress that matched. Nice. Dog. So there's lots of funny, you know, different things that happen. And what about red carpet moments? You know, I'm in the industry, yeah. I'm always doing celebrity yeah. events. Uh, do you also work with them as well? A absolutely. I mean, clearly, Adriana Papel is you know, known for red carpet. Um, we also have a designer called Haley Page, and I think they've gotten some press as red carpet. So yes, we do a lot of that. And we, you know, we get some prom business. 
Lovely. You know, you know. And here we have Gianna again. And what is uh, what dress are we going to be looking at next? This is a dress by Pia Gladys Pere. Okay, um, let's see your dress. dress. Come on, uh, come and on out. And here Gianna is in a gorgeous burgundy stretch velvet. And as I had said, you know, times have changed and things have moved on. It's velvet, but it's a stretch velvet. Okay. So it is something that is very comfortable, not like, you know, the old velvet that had to be lined and didn't move with you. Um, off the shoulder, sweetheart neckline, just a gorgeous color. And I think very versatile. I think that definitely is a red carpet look. I, okay. I would agree. Thank, Thank you, you so much. Thank you. Well, I thank you for being here, oh, um, and you have such a great domain name. I was like amazed, right? Uh, so let's Back let's give out that day. let's give out that domain name. It's um, bridesmaids.com. There you go, bridesmaids.com. Well, there you go. We hope you enjoyed this visit, and if you're getting married, or you know someone that is, or you've got somewhere fabulous to go, please go to their website.